Park saw me, okay? Me, okay? Vink, vink. Vunk, vunk. Vink, vink, okay? What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Vink Vink, back at it again with another video. It has been five ever, and I want to say Happy Thanksgiving! Or should I say Happy Thanksgiving? <laughs> Anyways, we're saying Happy Thanksgiving. List everything that you're thankful for on this channel. If I can make a pun, I will do it. Um, if you guys can think of anything else I can use with Vink Vink, Please leave that in the comment section because I think that's the only one I got so far. So what I came to talk to y'all about today is my trip to Chicago, uh, exploring Chicago and going to the J Park Sexy Forever Tour. It was so lit. Ooh child. It feels like allergies, but I know it's not allergies. A bitch is sick sick. You don't use this many tissues for allergies. I feel like you use tissue. <laughs> we headed to Chicago, we went down on Saturday. Um, we got there around six, seven o'clock at night. And <coughs> we, didn't, we didn't do much, we just chilled. We were planning to go to a club, you know, see what the scene was like in Chicago. And then we went to go get dinner, go to the club. And it, kind of, it happened, but it wasn't happening the way I expected it to happen. The whole walk around, even though it's right, everything is right next to each other, because it isn't a city city. So, child, we was, we was exhausted. And it was cold. It was cold as hell. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to be out here twerking in a bubble coat. Like, I'm really not trying to do that. And then we went to start walking around this club. And the club was, it, there was a long ass line, and we really was not trying to get into that club. So we went to a different club. And once we got in, it was a $10 cover. So I was like, you know, all my dream was to get into one. I didn't expect to do much. I just wanted to say that I've been here. And we walked out right after. We saw the cover charge. We were like, you know what? Y'all ready to go? And we all just left. <laughs> we all went back to the hotel. And we just chilled. We did nothing. But our outfit was cute. So I think we just took some pictures. And we were snapping on these hoes. We was out here looking like we was ready to snatch up anybody's man. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The next day, but we were out there from four, from four to six, cause that's when our P2 tickets get us in. Was, I was so cold, I got hot. Like it was like, I, I felt myself entering hypothermia or whatever. So I was like, maybe this ain't for me. So um, we were now getting ready. We were standing, we was talking to some people around us. Cause you know, we all shoulder to shoulder at this point. <laughs> And, you know, we just get to know the people around us. So we just like, hey, what's up? What's up, partner? You know what I'm saying? And then um, this guy, Steven, uh, he was very friendly. He was very, very friendly dude. Real funny. Steven just heard us talking about the lighting and the set. And he think just because he took freaking theater his high school year, he was getting hella comfortable. He was just like, I love how this is what y'all talking about. Like, this set is so 18th century, blah, blah. I'm like, he out here trying to mock a bitch. I'm like, okay, Steve. I was like, okay, whatever, Steve. <laughs> what a guy. Um, yeah, we fuck with Steve. We stand Steve. Um, and after that, <clears throat> after that, then, you know, the concert starts. DJ uh, Wuga comes out. And he starts doing his thing. We was hyping his ass up like nobody's business. He just walked out and plugged in his laptop. People already start cheering. Person, uh, the new member of AOMG, she came out and she killed it. She was so cute. She's so precious. She sang a few songs and then she, you know, she uh, opened for Jay. And then Jay came out and Jay did his thing. Jay was out here singing his little life away. People already throwing bras, throwing panties, throwing condoms. 
And I'm just like, wow, y'all really came prepared. Like, so Jay made a comment about like all the bras and panties. And I'm sure y'all already saw this on like Twitter or something. Someone had thrown a Bible on stage. And he's like, this is what y'all need. And I was like, ah, ha, 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 ha. OJ, ha, ha, ha. OJ Park, you're so, you're so funny. My friend out here losing her shit, thinking Jay Park the funniest dude. You see, that's what happened. That's what love does to you. The simplest joke. She was out here kiki and like it was nobody's business. Like she was at a stand-up comedy. She was like, isn't he like the funniest guy? I'm like, bitch, you just in love. You just in love, sis. Cause that was a it was such a basic joke. But um after he made the comment about the bras and panties and stuff. Um, this girl next to me, she dead ass. This is the funniest part. I hear, I hear this girl next to me. She goes, she, right? And she looks at me. The way she looked at me, this is what I knew she was about. She was up to something. She looks at me like this. While she's taking down her bra strap. She, I'm like, the fuck is happening right now? Well, I take off her actual bra. And I was like, sis, if you do this, you a real one. Oh, and she's like, you got me messed up. Sis had me laughing. Like, nobody's business. And then she spent the entire show just calculating. I'm just, like, literally, you see out here calculating the angles and trajectory of how she gonna throw this shit to make it on stage. <laughs> but she had me dead on the floor. I had to follow her after that. She was funny as hell. She had me laugh, rolling that entire show. And then, um, <laughs> she threw it and didn't make it on stage. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Cause like it's like one thing you didn't make it on stage, but I'm like secondly you lost the bra, and I'm like goddamn. <laughs> I'm like, ah, sorry, but uh, and then um, Joa he told us not to throw anything during Joa because it's a, it a pure song. It was a pure song. We should not throw anything on stage like like Joa da 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 Joa da 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 da. And I'm like okay, this is. You know, I'm over here, I, you know, I, mean, I fuck with the song, so I'm like, all right, go ahead. <coughs> and I was like, bitch, I think this is my opportunity. So I put up a peace sign and I started waving it out. And I'm like, hey, Jay, like, hey, Jay, with the peace, with the peace sign. And he did it back to me, bitch. Jay Park saw me, okay? Me, okay? Vank, vank, vunk, vunk, vank, vank, okay? I don't know. After that, I was like, this is proof that me and Jay Park are in love. Like, I don't know what anybody else told you. Me and Jay Park, we know each other, bitch. We know each other. Whatever. Ain't nobody can tell me nothing, man. We After he waved at me, bitch, we was getting married. I was like, it is what it is. Y'all saw it. Y'all, like, I was hot, so hyped. Like, he waved at me. And I was like, bitch, he saw me. Like, this is such a positive song. I'm like, bitch, he saw me. He saw me, bitch. I turned around. I'm like, y'all saw that? And it was like some strangers behind me. They're like, yeah, we saw that. I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? I was hype. I was so hype. I was like, bitch, J Park noticed me. It's all for y'all hoes. I was like, and does it sis? And sis, ain't nobody can tell me nothing, bitch. Ain't nobody can tell me nothing. I was just like, J Park know me. He know me. He know Vank Vank. Period. Oh my gosh. And I lost my shit when uh Ted Park came out. Because at first I didn't know much about Ted Park. I didn't know any of his music. And I was just like, let me hear what you got. After this, I listened to one song, his first song. I was already like, I'm like, so when you're two? Like, when, when you finna go on tour, home? Because he was just, it's an ugly, oh my gosh. I was like, why do I relate so hard? I'm like, I get you playing. Don't let anybody bring you down, Ted, all right? People love to talk shit. Jake Hart came back on, performed a few more songs, and then, yeah, and then we were ready to leave. But then he came, he said, bye. And I was like, boy, if you don't bring your fine ass back and do another, where the encore at? I was like, child, where the encore at? Uh-huh. Where you going? I was like, bye. <laughs> the fuck you mean bye? And then he came back on and did a whole encore set. Because that's the kind of guy he is. <laughs> that's fucking Jake Park for you. And then he did birthday. And it was my friend's birthday week. That's why we went for a few days. Because it was her birthday week party that we were having and um <coughs> and we went and then she like we didn't even have time and then she's like everyone's like oh whose birthday it is everybody's screaming i'm like no it's book for real though i'm like sitting there like no book for real though it's her birthday and of course he didn't hear me so he was just like it's everybody's birthday and i was just like all right i guess and then we just had a good time and then the i remember those confetti at one point that popped out and then we just like we were so upset because 
He wasn't selling merch at his uh, concert. So then we grabbed streamers and I'm like, well, this is the merch now. Bitch, when I tell y'all, we came to this show ready to shake ass like nobody's business, bitch. We was we prepared. Like we spent week. Like I spent the entirety of the time that I, I bought the tickets up until then practicing twerking. Cause I knew once my song came on, it was game over for all these hoes. Like I'm out here ready to pop off, <sighs> honey, 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 honey. During birthday, he pulled out the water bottle. Uh, he took a little sip of the water, right? And then you know when they be in the concert, they be feeling themselves. They threw the water on the entire audience, right? Threw everyone who was on the floor felt it. And I saw that water. I saw the little the bits of water coming towards my face. Mm-hmm. Honey, I saw it and I looked at it. And I felt, I was just like, Lord. I saw the water come and it hit my, hit my forehead. Child, I felt purified. I felt cleansed, bitch. I was out here like, my sins have been washed away. I can go home at peace and God be trust. I felt so, I felt that water touch my head. I was like, I took at my friend and he was like, cause he got a little smash on his face too. He's like, and I was like, he was out here like, have been blessed by Jay Park. We could go home in peace, okay? We could go home in peace. And then we did. But that was a show. After that, we ate some Taco Bell. We chilled. We watched Christmas movies. We didn't even watch Christmas movies. We watched uh, Girls' Night with like uh, Queen Latifah and Tiffany Haddish and Jada Pinkett Smith, like with everybody and their mama in it. I wish you could do that again. We talked about doing stuff more like this, like every two years. We just two to five years we get together we just do something like that just like a little friendscation and like go see something and just do something together because we had a blast we were taking bomb photos honey i don't know what it was i think it was something in the water child that had me looking like a meal i was like damn but that bit had me looking. I was like, is it the damn air? Like, is the air different out here in Chicago? Had me looking like a snack. But I'm really trying to figure out. Let me know if y'all was at the show, what happened to that girl who was on the balcony who got escorted out? Y'all know exactly which one I was talking about. Is Jay Park saw her and even said, sorry, sorry girl in the song. So like, I just want to know. She, I, I'd be mad as hell if I was just twerking and then they start escorting me. I was like, bitch, what I come here for? I was like, if I can't fuck it up, what I'm here for? But that is it for this video. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you leave in the comment section what you guys are thankful for this Thanksgiving. I will see you guys all very soon. Happy holidays. Goodbye. <laughs>
Well, everybody, we have to be safe. Oh, day, oh, day, oh, day.